Hey everybody, thank you for joining in. Tonight we're going to take a look at the armor mod from EH Pro. You can find EH Pro on the web at www.scehpro.com. You can also find them on Facebook and on Instagram. I'll leave their links down below. This is one of their newest mods that they just come out with here. This is a great mod for someone that wants to get into like going into, you know, um, like, you know, your mechanical mods. But this one's got safety features into it, so it's not a full mechanical. It does have your safety features, but there's only, it's all up here. So it is a uh, 18650 and a 2700. Um, it's got all your short circuit protection. It's got overheat protection. It's got reverse battery protection. Like I said, it's a great per one that somebody that wants to get into a stick style mod. This is a perfect little setup for it. Um, I've seen it around like a 3F8. Um, I think I've even seen it on like... Uh, I don't know, there's a couple different websites that y'all probably could be able to just uh, do some Google Foo on and you'll be able to find it. So it's it, you can get it, it's out on the market now. So, But it, like I said, this is one of their newer ones. Why don't we just dive down, we can take a closer look at it and uh, grab a fit and meet me down there. All right, so here we are down below here. And just the way it comes into here, it tells you this. It's EH Pro Armor, Armor Prime Mod. And then if you look close enough here, it has their website www. freaking like uh, scehpro.com and it says beyond your all your imagination and it's then it says armor on here eh pro on the back has your different cautions the device can be used with e-liquid containing nicotine which is highly addictive to the substance then it goes on tells you about the lithium ion batteries are required to operate the device um so on and then it has your UPC tells you that it's the Armor Pride mod, Prime mod, and this one is in the black. And then there's your uh, QR code and security code, so you can verify that this is an authentic product from EH Pro. Open it up. First thing you see is your user manual, and it tells you congratulations, and it tells you what comes into the kit, which we'll go over as we go through it anyways. Here, it tells you... Uh, what the, all the things are, your top cap, what the, where the switch is, and so on, um, your diameters, battery orientation, here, um, the operation guidance, all your pertinent information that you need that you would want in a very small, handy little user manual. Very awesome onto that. You got a nice little battery chart. Tells you how to batteries that should look like this. They should look good. If they have any kind of tears or anything, do not use them. For your safety and everyone around you um, it also gives you a certificate of inspection from EH Pro and then you also have comes with a warranty and it tells you all about it here on the warranty and when you get it you should fill in all your information so when you do if you do have a problem you have information to get to where you can get your uh, product fixed which is pretty pretty cool um, like I had mentioned upstairs, this is an 18650 and a 2700, so they do throw this little adapter in. We'll go through it when we get to that point. And then here's the start of the show. <clears throat> here it is here. Um, the dimensions onto this here is 24.7 going this way, 90.5 from top to bottom here. Um, this is made of brass and black speckled paint onto it, but there is brass all the way through. And you hear how nice those threads sound. Very, very nice. And you got your venting at the bottom. And then if you look right there, top there, it's got your negative sign because that's how they want your negative to go down to that. And then here's your power, which we'll go over. It's got a spring-loaded. 510 very very nice so let's throw a battery in if you just wanted to run an 18650 you would slide that over that slide it in and then one two three four five turns it on and when you are using it it'll light up when you see green it's actually running at 70% or higher. If you happen to see it go down to a yellow light, it's 30 to 70%. And if you see a red light, it's 30% or lower. This does have short circuit uh, protection.
protected, is overheat protected, reverse battery protected, 10 second cutoff, and you can go from resistant range 0 0.2 ohms all the way up to 1.2 ohms. Very, very cool. And then I'll show you for the 2700. Take that out. Take that out. And we've got a nice EFS 2700. Slider inner. And again, same thing. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I'm going to shut that off a minute. Uh, we're going to throw this RDA onto it here. This is their Panther, which I got a review coming up for that. They sent over the Panther RDA, and they also sent me over the Billow X. So you got a couple more reviews that are going to be coming up uh, within the next few days. So be looking out for that. So let's just throw this onto here. And this looks rather nice onto there. Um, only thing is you got the brass here, which almost feels like it's, I think there's a coating over it because you see the speckles onto here. But the Panther is done in almost in like a gunmetal instead of the brass. I would like to have seen that. But I know they have different uh, colors and whatnot onto the top cap itself also. And on the back there, you got that kind of like transformer dude. It's not really transformer. It's a little bit more uh, rigid looking. So uh, I don't really think it's going after anything. So that's pretty cool onto that. I like that overall. And again, turn it on. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. It would help if I pressed it. There you go. And uh, so why don't we take this up top and uh, and then we'll take a vape onto it and I'll see you up there. All right, so welcome back up on top. Again, what's your guys' thoughts on this here? Um, I like this little, it's a nice tube style mod. Like I said at the beginning, this is great for someone that's just transitioning over and wants to get into a tube style mod. This is great, and it's got your safety features into it. Yeah, it's not a mechanical. I never, you know, we're not going there with that. It's not a mechanical. This is good for someone that wants to get into tube style mod. It's got your safety features into it with your um, reverse pr protection, your short circuit protection, overheat protection. Those are nice little features for someone that's still just getting into the tube style mod. Very, very good. The 18650 and the 2700 options, again, very, very good. Um, I really don't see many cons. The only con that I have is because I do use a lot of mechanical mods. This button is up here, which is good because if it was down here, you don't want someone accidentally having it misfire onto them, even though it does have a 10-second cutoff. But if it, if you're a tube person, you're used to hitting down here, and a lot of times I'll pick this up and I'll be like, it ain't working. Then I realize, oh, yeah, I got this one in my hand. I have it to hit it here. Um, I like the little lights that tell you, you know, it gives you the range of where your power is on your battery because again you're still going directly off your battery too there with that little short you know with that little circuitry that's in there so you're not going you're not going to have a big voltage drop i like it i really do um if it was in the price range per say between 30 and 50 dollars i would say yeah it's a very solid mod for that any more than 50 dollars, i would have to probably say no but I'm not sure on the pricing onto it. I know they're out there. You Like I said, you at the beginning, you can Google for it, and you can find it out there for sure. Um, but definitely, it's a nice, solid mod. Very well presented in the packaging and everything, as you saw down there. Big kudos onto that. All right, people. And again, I don't forget, I do have the Panther RDA and the Billow X coming up as well also. So be looking out for that. That's going to do it for tonight, folks. So until the next time. Keep.